Jamie, firstly, congratulations on the move. How delighted are you? I'm over the moon, obviously. It's a dream come true for me. I mean, I know there's a lot of hard work to come. It's not, it's not over yet, but um, it's a great achievement for me. I've always wanted to be a professional footballer, so um, can't wait to start, really. Fair to say, and it's an exciting new chapter in your career. Of course, yeah. Um, as I said, professional football, full-time football, really. Um, um, not having to go to work and then come to train is literally just focusing on football. I think that's going to be the main aspect and just really just hard work. What were your initial thoughts when you heard of the interest? Um, I'd say I've been there for a few years and I've heard about interest before, but you never really think that it's going to be my turn. And when I heard about, um, obviously, a good club wanted to come in for me and um, see if I can go on trial, um, I was over the moon, really. So, yeah. Talk about your trial. How determined were you to succeed during your time there? Of course, as I said, it's my dream. Like, um, I guess put all of my efforts into it, really. Just um, There's so little things you can do, maybe go in bed early, eating the right things. But no, I was determined to um, work hard to on the training field and off, really, to make it work. And God willing, it's paid off. So, Did you know any of the players before you went there? And, and as, a, as a group of lads, how welcoming have they been? Oh, extremely welcoming. I knew a few of them. Um, I did go and try the end of pre, uh, end of last season, sorry, so I got to know a few of them. But I knew a few before going in. A um, couple of personal mates, um, like Joshy Mero, he's my really good mate, um, and he obviously knows the boys well, so they had a good relationship with him, and they welcomed me. So perfect. What sort of advice have you been given from Gavin and players here? I really used to work hard. Um, speaking to boys like Michael Chambers, um, who have moves in the past, Quay Taylor as well, and they're just saying to me, really, like, just don't think that now you've signed. It's, you've done it. Of course, you still need to work hard and make sure that you don't um, fall off. So just to keep working hard. Let's go back a few years now to you, your arrival in the academy here. Just how did you come to be an Aspire? Um, I used to play for Cray Wanderers and I think um, at every club you can always hit a brick wall maybe in development terms. And uh, my brother suggested to me that um, he knew he knew Junior and Kevin well and he said that they're running an Aspire academy. They developed a few young boys that are going to be pro footballers. So. He asked me to come down here and said to me it'll be a good. I came for a trial um, and I signed the under 16s. So yeah, that's how I came here. How would you explain your time here at the club? It's been good. I mean, obviously ups and downs in terms of performance-wise, but it's been good. I mean, we always achieved well. When I was 16, I played in the under 18s against Brentford at Youth Cup. Um, so it's been good. I mean, I've, it's developed me on and off the pitch really. So. Uh, I don't just think it's about football, uh, they don't think it's just about football, sorry, it's about education as well. If you're not um, performing in school, if you're not doing well, they won't play you. So it's developing as a person as well as a footballer. So you alluded to the Youth Cup there. Is that one of your, I'm guessing that's one of your personal highlights. And what other things stand out from your time here? Uh, there's, there's many. I mean, you put me on the spot here, but no, of course, playing against Brentford, FA Youth Cup, um, just being a part of the squad really in big games. I mean, every game is it's nice to be a part of the fans always make it a massive game really some playing youth team you don't get many people but coming here and there's thousands every week so i mean that's a good achievement every week really obviously last season you spent a good half of it at grays how important was that in developing you as a person and a player i think that's massive um the gaff always said to me that i need to go out and get loan experience um he said i was a good player he knew that he knows i could play higher but he said that getting a loan and playing regular football would be the best thing for me and it Personally, I think it was one of the best things I've ever done, go on loan. I played week in, week out, maybe 35 games for Grays in a very short period. Um, so I think that was massive in developing me, playing against men, playing against the likes of Dulwich as well. So just, I think that was massive, really. What have the likes of Gavin and Kevin Ju and uh, Junior and the other Aspire coaches taught you down the years? What have you learned from them? As I said, um, I've learned so much on and off of the field. So it's like, uh, they don't just teach you about football. Obviously, they do massively, but it's about becoming a man, really. Um, acting well off the pitch as well so um, but no development wise my football has improved I was a striker when I came here I've now um, come to left back so I mean they've, they've taught me a lot changed me a lot so yeah you're the latest player to move out the academy to a pro club you mentioned Michael Chambers and Quay Taylor just two of those in the past what advice would you give to players currently in the academy that are hoping to make a similar move uh, work hard really it sounds very cliche but it's it's true if you work hard if you, I think you create your own luck, really. Um, of course, football is there's so much more to football than football, but I think working hard, being around the right people, seeking advice off people. Um, I wouldn't say like myself, but like Michael Chambers, and speaking to the people that have been there and done it. It's a change room full of experience. Speaking to the management team as well. I mean, they they do want to develop you as much as you want to develop as well. So I think that's a big thing.